welcome back to this Rift Let's Play. Your Sambo, Seraphis, and joining us as always here in the snow of the Frozen Valley is the guy with the frozen heart himself, none other than Tallahassee of the Storm. Good evening. Hello, how's it going? Very well. Now, am I allowed to tell people about your special day the other day, or is that a secret? If you must. <laughs> Because, or, you know, I think it's kind of funny because this particular special day that we're talking about is something that our, well, your fans were trying to celebrate a while ago and they got it wrong. So I didn't know if you wanted me to put it out there. I mean, I won't say the exact day, but, you know, they got it wrong. So can I put their wrong right, basically? Sure. Just, <laughs> yeah, whatever. Well, look, and by the way, welcome to this episode, folks. If you're wondering what on earth I am talking about, it is none other than this guy, this handsome young man here in his armour. It was his birthday recently, and that's all I'll say. I'm not going to give any dates away. But happy birthday, my friend. Happy birthday. Uh, what's it like being being Thank 20 you. now? <laughs> I wish I was 20. <laughs> well, you know what? Even if you were 20, I'm sure you would have been a wise 20. But no, I'm not going to say how old Tallah or how young Tallahassee is, as the case may be. Nor am I going to say his exact birthday. But I thought it was pretty funny and nice that everyone was wishing you a happy birthday about, what, two months ago, was it? Uh, around there. Yes, exactly. And that's because somebody put an arbitrary date in their engine profile. Now, I'm not suggesting that you have to go and change it because I think it's pretty funny. In fact, I think you did put a message back saying something along the lines of, you really think I'd put my real birthday on the internet. Was that what you said? <laughs> pretty much. In typical... Sorry, folks. Typical Tallahassee stuff. Look, all you need to know is sometime, in, well, I'd say within the last 10 days, it was actually Tallahassee's actual birthday. So happy birthday, my friend, and you guys are more than welcome to wish him the same, of course. Now, what I need to know before we go any further, and we're going to get right into it tonight because we've got no shout outs. We've got a nice simple quest to do. But before we go any further, did you get any presents? Because, guys, if you're watching along from home, let me tell you how difficult it is to buy this guy a present. I mean, I said, last time I saw him, I said, look, I'm going to just get you this little thing because I know you've wanted it. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. It was like World War Three. You're not getting me any birthday presents. I don't want any birthday presents. Don't you spend any money on me. Blah, blah, I'm too blah, old for birthday presents. Oh, see, he's even starting it now, folks. Even now. What, can't you just let me buy you? Oh, here, look, here's the kicker. If you're no, thinking, no, I bought myself a bottle of scotch, and that's as good as it gets. <laughs> well, you know what? That is pretty good, got to say. And we know that Tallahassee loves his scotch. Was it a good one? Yeah, it's Macallan. It's 18 year. Ooh, 18 year old scotch. Now, if you're a scotch aficionado, you'll know that Tallahassee will get many a night of joy out of that. There's no doubt about it. But here's the kicker, guys. This this fellow here standing right next to me, who won't let me buy him a birthday present, how's this? He bought me a birthday present. Yeah, exactly, right? Like, how unfair is that? I mean, how, how dare you buy me one and not let me buy you one? That is the height of rudeness, if I may say so myself, in an opposite sort of way. Actually, my argument's not really holding water, is it? No. <laughs> maybe I'll just give up. I don't know. It never really holds water. Look, maybe what you guys can do is help me out here and suggest ways that I could get past this. How? How do I get Tallahassee a present while he's not letting me get him a present? Go on, you guys must have some sneaky ways of getting presents to stubborn, stubborn men like you this don't. one. You don't. See? See? Now, come on. There's your challenge, you folks. That's your challenge for the week. So let us know in the comments below. We'll get off the topic because I know it makes Tallahassee feel uncomfortable, but whatever. We shall see if the ingenuity of our viewers will actually foil your dastardly plan to not let me buy you a present. Also... Also, no birthday wishes in the comments. <laughs> See what I'm up against, folks. It's like it's, it's like Scrooge, it's Scrooge of the storm, not Tallahassee of the storm. Although the weird thing is, it's Scrooge to himself. He's perfectly happy buying me stuff. Seriously, he is. Oh, and now he pulls out the weirdo mount, which I can't actually. Anyway, see. folks, let's get on with the quest. Yeah, see, look at these. Oh, look, wait for me. I'm coming. Look. And by the way, folks, you can see to the south of us is where we're going. And oh, look at this. It's an apt 
title for the quest because it's called an unbearable burden which I swear to god this man is being by not letting me oh, he didn't even wait for me he just wants to get off this topic so very quickly don't you jeez you know what I think birthdays to you are like yetis to me would that be a fair a fair analogy no I'm not scared of my birthday <laughs> Uh, look, who said I was scared? I just am actively avoiding... Okay, yeah, I'm, I am. I'm petrified of Yetis. All right, so hang on. We're meant to be doing something... What does it say? A unbearable burden. We need to kill the Red Snow Courier. Now, I don't suppose you remember from the last time you... Oh, is that him? Hang on, is that him? Yep, yeah, someone's already killing him. Oh, oh, I see. But well, I wonder if it'll count for... Oh, no, it doesn't. Okay, so is there only the one courier? Um, no, you'll respawn. Hang on, it's counted for me. What did it? Hang on, let's have a look here. Kill? No, it didn't. Because do you know what? I didn't get a shot off. That's okay. But we did learn something. We learned that story if, of your life. Well, look, if you if you tag it, it will count. Hey, but I've actually just noticed I've got some fat loots in my UI. Must be for a quest. Hope still burns. I don't know what that's about. It's just literally in my quest tracker, and I've got myself a nice pair of ooh light weave trousers that are giving me a whole bunch more int spell power and armor. So I'm. Absolutely. Now let's go into our inventory and watch where they appear because you guys know how good I am at looking at new items. There we go. All right, so I'm actually going to equip those because there we go. They are more better than what I have got. So currently equipped. There we go. Oh, hang on. Have I got that round the right way? Uh, I want to pass on that. Let's have a look. Did I do that rightly? Replacing the item. Yes, that's right. Okay, so do you think that the courier will occur? Oh, what's going on here? Did you clear this out while I was messing about with my bags? Yeah. <laughs> you, sir, are incorrigible. That's what you are. You, sir, are definitely incorrigible. Sorry. Okay, do, do we have to wait for this to re... Hang on. Surely we don't have to wait till here. If it's a courier, wouldn't he be running around the place, do you think? Like maybe somewhere else? Um, he'll spawn somewhere along this road. Hmm... Oh, damn it. I wish I'd actually tagged him, knowing that it counts. Well, look, I'm just going to have a bit of a romp over this direction as long as I don't aggro all the... Oh, God! Oh! Oh, no, no, no. Just as I said, as I hope I don't aggro anything, I run into a whole bunch of tigers. Hey, uh, yeah, thanks. Hi. Hi, birthday boy. Happy birthday! I bought you some presents. And do you know what else I don't have out? I don't have out my Greater Air Elemental, which is pretty typical. And I'm thinking... By the time I summon it, you would have killed both of these guys. <laughs> That'd be my luck. Pretty much. Uh, yeah. Alrighty, here we go. Now, a lot of folk... Almost. A lot of folk have been saying, hey, don't forget to use your empowering abilities, which are things like the Pillaging Stone, the Sacrifice Life... All these ones up the top here, the Rushing Elements and the Channel Elements, all those sort of ones. Apparently, I've been forgetting to use them, which is, let's face it, Telahasa. Um, Artifact. Oh, what? You found another In one? In the nook of the tree. Oh, man, look, what you guys don't know is he actually found one before we started filming, although... It was in a weird place, wasn't it? Like, do you think that the artifacts are placed randomly or do you think that they're hand-placed by the developers and the designers? What do you reckon? Um, I think Simon says that he does actually place them all. Oh, okay. Well, well that's even weirder then because the one we found before filming, Tallahassee, we couldn't actually click on it because it was kind of, well, it was stuck under a wagon wheel, I guess is the best way of putting it. But, hey, there's... Mm -hmm. Hang on. There's the red snow courier. There's our friend. What, what, what? You found him? Yeah, back here. Yeah, he's running. Oh, okay, they've all disappeared on me. They've zoned out, they've phased uh -oh. out. What happened? Where'd they I go? I don't know, they all disappeared. Ah. Oh. Okay, well, I was going to say, because the corpse is still over here, he probably won't spawn again, but it looks like he'll spawn even if his corpse hasn't disappeared, so that's okay. Oh, I've gone and made myself a mm -hmm. friend. No worries. All right, pillaging stone. There we go. See, I am using it. And there's all of these here. The crystalline missiles, etc., etc., plague bolt. They are actually now procking, so I am doing the right thing. Okay, so we need to wander around and find the courier. Can you believe we're going to all this trouble because I didn't tag the courier the first time? So I hope you guys are learning if you're watching along from home. If you do see it. Well, you know what? I don't think it helps that this person here is obviously trying to find them as well, do you think? That other player? Because they seem to be tracking up mm. and down the path, if you ask me. Well, that, that's where he respawns anyway. It's... Oh, there he is. Well, you found him? Yep. Oh, I'm coming. Oh, yeah, there he goes. Red Snow Courier. Come on, come on, come on. 
I don't. Where did he go? There he is. Oh, there he is. Yeah. All right. It actually counted for me that time. Thank goodness. And it says, "Oh, what? What is going on here? What the heck? I don't get it. Is this part of the quest? You need to destroy that remnant." And it says, destroy the powerful remnant of Adraxis at the Anvil of Theodore. Okay, I don't get it. Yep, so mount up. All right, and why are we being... Oh, it's a wolf. I was going to say what's attacking me. I couldn't even see it. So how come we've got this weird buff? Oh, there it is. The remnant of Adraxis. The corruption of this regulus touched remnant is tearing at your... Oh, it's doing damage to me. Yep, so mount up okay. and we'll run straight across the ice. All right, because have you noticed at our feet... There's corruption appearing yep. at our feet. That is an awesome effect, isn't it? That is amazing. Yep, and there what... should be a purple glow around you as well. Yes, there is. And in fact, I can see it on your character as well. That is pretty cool. Now, how come these guys have followed? Oh, they're... Oh, ouch. Ouch. I'm getting hurt a lot. But uh, I just think that's amazing. Look at the ground. I hope you guys can see the ground there corrupting exactly where we walk. I mean, that is really, really, really cool. Very cool effect. Well, it's not cool because it's hurting us, but it's a cool graphical effect is what I mean. All right, so is it inside here, is it? Yep. All right. And, of course, we are now in the Great so Library. It's all the way up the back. All the way at the back. And the Chancel of Labours is where we... Oh, you, know, you guys know that. We've been here enough times. Oh, why... Do you know what is weird? My steering is all off. It's, it's like the game is... Oh, I don't... I don't know. Something... Oh! Okay, I need to dismount. I have no clue what's going on, but my steering is all wonky. It's really weird. Like, I go to turn and nothing happens. Okay, here we go. And look at that. The forge is rocked by a small explosion as the remnant is consumed and the fire takes on an evil cast before quickly falling to warmer tones. Oh, that might have been why it was weird because we were kind of embiggened, weren't we? Like we were pretty larger mm -hmm. than normal. Yeah, it might have been what was putting me... Oh, hang on. I've lost the quest. I guess I have to... Oh, that's because it's on an anvil. Right, okay. Running away from the quest. Good one. I have to do all that again? Oh, good lord. Okay, here we go. Accept this. What do we have to do? It's a story quest again. No living being, even an ascended, would be able to withstand a prolonged exposure to such concentrated evil. It is fortunate that the Ice Watch was here to help. You should speak with Lord Protector Nerville about what just happened. And from memory, he's in here somewhere. Oh, yeah, there he is. Right over there. All right. Let's have a chat with this guy. Oh. It's good you bought that remnant here so quickly. Our forge here in the Chancel of Labours is one of the only places in Talara where such powerful artifacts can be properly destroyed. So thank goodness for that. All right. More story mission. Lord Protector Nerval asks that you return to Marshal Kane and let him know of the Ice Watch's offer of assistance. Okay, so that's in... Oh, yeah, there we go. I was going to say that's in Sanctuary. Good memory from me there. So I'm guessing we're heading back to Sanctuary, right? Yeah, but we're... Technically, we're going to Whitefall. So oh. let's go to a portal. Oh, right, of course. And then Sanctuary is just off to the side. Whoa! Did everything go red for you then? As you came out? Yes, it did. Uh, any clue as to why? No. Huh. I'm not going to spoil it for you. Oh, so you do... Uh, interesting. Interesting. Okay, well, I did notice it. Enter the porticulum. And yes, we're going down to... Where are we? There we go. Whitefall Tavern. You know what? I nearly, nearly clicked on Kane's command because, of course, it's Kane that we're going to. So wires got crossed a little bit there. That would have been slightly bad. Oh, now, speaking of which, in terms of porticulums, Tallahassee, it's been such a while since I've asked this. Is there any cooldown on a particulum or is it just all currency? Like, it's just cash? It's just cash. So you can do it as The only thing that has a cooldown is your soul recall and Bravanic portal generator. Right, which of course is something that you have and I don't. So you can effectively particulum as often as you like as long as you know that it's going to cost you some bucks here. Pretty much. All right, that's good. Hey, I'm still cor Hey, am I still corrupting the ground? No, that's you. Oh, it's him. Oh, maybe it was part of the hand in. Here we go. Where is the large remnant of Adraxis? You did what? I gave you an order, Seraphis. How dare you question my will? My orders come from the gods themselves. Oh, he's not too happy. You call yourself an ascendant. Still can't blasphemy. This man is completely insane. You will pay for this insolence. Um. Um. Be gone from my sight before I finish what I started. 
and end your life. This burden is taking its toll. I'm sure that once we gather all the shards, I'll be strong enough to control this power. Get out of here while you still can! This man is completely insane! Yep. Um, alright mister. You have got a bit of explaining to do, because did I just get told by Marshall Kane, who has been our greatest friend pretty much in the entire game, did he just go a little bit bananas? Yes, he did. Um, and this other guy here from the Red Snow Bandits is saying, hey, get out of here while you can. This man is completely insane. Based on what I've just seen, I'm beginning to think he might be right. So obviously there's something afoot. This is interesting. Now, remember, folks, I actually do not know. I've not played through any of this before. So this is all new to me. So if you're in the comments, please don't spoil it for me. But it seems like something is afoot. There's no <laughs> doubt about that. All right, let's see what she's got to say. Please, madam, may I speak with you? Dame Lavisha Volia asks that you talk to some of the other 12th century guard soldiers stationed in Sanctuary and then speak with Nelmora Quinnum. Hmm, I wonder if that's about Marshall Kane. Very interesting. And look at this, got another quest over here. My controls are still a bit weird. Excuse me, lady. I know you are probably quite busy on official guardian business. That's right, I am. I am artifact hunting. But I would beg a moment of your time. I do a lot of business with the people of Whitefall, and these are troubled times for them. They could use a hero and ask me if the guardian could assist them in their time of need. And he asks that we speak with Thor Hellman. Okay, so it looks like we're doing a whole bunch of talking to people. Let's have a chat to this captain here. I've served in the marshal for years is and risen to officer under Kane's command. Lately, though, he's become quick to lash out over the slightest infraction. The men are beginning to fear him as much as respect. Oh, so Tallahassee, something's definitely afoot, isn't it? There's no doubt about it. It doesn't have to be a spoiler. Mm -hmm. It's pretty obvious. Now, let's talk to this Hello. person. It's funny you ask. It's always been dangerous to be the marshal's enemy and difficult to be his friend. But the distance between friend and foe is much shorter than it once was. Okay, what is going on? Let's see, where's the last person to talk to? Over here. All right, Sir Isaac Casimir, what have you got to say? He is troubled, it is true, my lady. You don't have to ask me. I saw what transpired between the two of you. That is not the man I have served all these years. Oh, I reckon he's getting corrupted or something, Tallahassee. Frederick belongs on the battlefield, not on this divine mission of his. The vigil, forgive me for saying this, but the gods misuse him. I would follow him into hell, and I fear we just yet might. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. All right, well, we don't have to go now. Oh, back over here. Have you already handed all these in? Yep. And you're Good fast. Thing. Okay, none of this bodes well. Kane is one of our greatest generals, but there seems to be a spreading stain on his spirit. I fear we might have to soon recall him from his command. I only hope we are not too late. So she asks that we travel to Sanctum and tell, C oh, tell Cyril... Gosh, okay, he's pretty high up, isn't he? What is happening to Marshall Kane? Now, if I remember right, Cyril's one of the... Like, he's a big, big guy, isn't he? Yeah, he is basically the... I'm trying to think of the best way to put it. He's our leader. Yeah, yeah. Like, he's higher than Kane anyway, right? Yeah, Kane okay. reports to him. Now, two things. First off, there is a scroll on the box that I am sort of standing on at the moment. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, is it an Click artifact? That. Is no, that? it's just a book. Okay, here we go. Grab that. Oh, oh, it's a collection. Excellent. Now, let me go into my bags. And there we go. 12th century guard letter. Right-click this to collect. Absolutely. You know what? I've been really slack collecting books recently. Do you already, oh, don't tell me you found another and, artifact. Yep. Now, why can I not even see it? Is that how bad at artifacts I am? Oh. Yep. Hang on. Is it in the cart? It is. Yeah. How did you even see that? Like, I mean, it wasn't even glowing through the thing, was it? That's... You, you're, it you're, was. It, you, it was. Was it? Oh, man, maybe I, my eyes are so bad that I can't see it. I don't know. You need glasses, man. Yeah, maybe, maybe I think I do. Good Lord. All right, well, now I'm guessing... I mean, if I look at the quest log, we've got one all the way out there, which is in red gold claim but i'm guessing you're going to want us to go back to sanctum right because we've got two two quests to hand in there is that what you want to do yep yeah so, so we've got this one here to speak to thal hellman oh are they nearby are they mm-hmm all right 
La -de 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 -da. Oh, there you are. All right, Thel Hellman. Hello, hello. Other duties. Uh, thank you, my lady. I think I speak for all the people of Whitefall when I say we appreciate your concern. Oh, another story update. He's asking us that we kill firebrand constructs found within Mage's Mark. Oh, now you did say we were going to be killing them, and it turned out that you're exactly right. All right, so now that we've got that, do you want to kill the... Co what have we got? Time for one more thing. We either go back to Sanctuary or we kill the constructs. What is it? What is your bidding? Uh, we'll go back to the... We'll go back to the thing. Right, because that seems like a really interesting part of the story to my ears. Now, mm. where is the Porticulum? Why can I not see it? Because it's up and around the corner. Ah, oh, we're kind of in between. The, oh, there where it is. Where it's been forever. Yeah. <laughs> Shush you. <laughs> I was pretty much right next to it. All right, so <laughs> all the way over to Sanctum. To Sanctum, come. That's right. Now, it's been a while since we've been here. The last time we were here, I think Tallahassee was with Dub. And you know what? I need him already because I've got to put more points into the tree. Although, Dub, if you're watching this, how are you liking my superb casting skills these days? I know, I know, I'm your greatest student, and we could probably write books about the new techniques that I'm discovering with all of the spell combinations that I happen to bring up. So, that's okay, I have no problem with that, as long as you credit me. Now, where have you gone? Are we still inside, or we have to go outside? Oh, no, it's inside. We're inside for the okay. moment. All right, here we go. Oh, yeah, that's right. I knew it was this guy. Cyril, hello. Do you remember the very first time we saw this guy in the game, Tallahassee? I think it was back in the starting zone. Didn't he make an appearance somewhere near the end of it? He did, right at the very end. Yeah, that's right. And I remember us looking we at this armor. We had to take armor. down the pillars. Yeah, it was just amazing though, wasn't it? It's was just like, whoa, that is incredible. Okay, here we go. Let's have a chat. No heretic. That's right. This is disturbing news, Seraphis. As one soldier to another, I will speak bluntly to you. It sounds like Tallahassee. Frederick was never great for his virtues. It was his ruthlessness on the field of battle that made him great. You can only hope the vigil choose wisely in Cain, but at least it would seem prudent to relieve him. Oh my, what? To relieve him of his command duties while he is on this holy quest of his. Thank you for bringing this to me directly, Seraphis. You know what, Tallahassee, I see nothing but bad things coming out of this because the way he just worded that makes it sound like Frederick Kane is going to be, well, he's going to be upset at us because we've gone and tattletailed on it. That's what it feels like to me. Anyway, we shall see, I guess. Now, what do I want? Do I want this? Oh, yes, I do want that belt. Now, let's bring up our inventory and I'm going to do exactly the same thing. We're going to equip that straight away. So, you know what? This session has been very, very useful for me because I've got two completely new pieces of gear, Tallahassee, so at least I'll do a better job. All right, so what do we need to do now? Finally. Oh, return to, hey, I've uh, got We need to go to Port Arm. Yeah, I was going to say, is that just me? All right, well, look, we can do that before we log off for the episode, if you like. Now, what is to hang on, what has poor Tom got to do with anything? I don't understand. Uh, he sent us to Fall of Lantern Hook. Oh, that's right. That's right. I was trying to remember. He's the one that took us over there in the first place. That's right. I was trying to rack my brains. All right, I am a coming, coming, coming. Oh, hey, it's all changed up in here again. You know what? Last time we were here, there, right, yeah, right where you are. Weren't there rows and rows of aggressive soldiers? Like, I mean, well, they didn't attack us on sight, but they were red. They had red names above their head. I'm not dreaming, am I? Yeah, the event finished. Ah, uh, it's the event. That's right. I keep forgetting. I mean, Sanctum changes so much, especially when events are on. It's very cool. All right, poor Tom the Cursed. You've seen a shadow of things that may be. Uh-oh. Unless you find a way to prevent it from coming to pass, then what? What? No. Then Talara is doomed to burn? What? Don't don't put it on me. Hang on. Is this all part of the big massive storyline quest? I guess it's the whole, hey, you're the hero of Talara type. I mean, just to be completely stereotypical for a moment. Is that what it's about? Pretty much. Okay. So there's no follow-up here. So if I check on our map, I'm guessing, well, the only quest we've actually got, yeah looking around the map the only quest we have at all is where my waypoint is in iron pine peak where we have to go to deliver the survival gear in red gold claim so is that what next week's episode is going to be about um that and probably this one which is killing the constructs 
Oh, that's right. Whoops, I forgot we picked that one up as well. All right, well, there you go. There's certainly lots to look forward to next week. And yes, in fact, hang on. Let me just quickly go into my soul tree. Let's see if we can make... Where are we? Oh, it's not too bad. I was going to say, can we make Dubois very, very fretting, nervous, and upset and worried because I thought I might have a whole bunch of skill points there, but I've actually only got one. So, Dub, let me know what you think I should pop that into. It's going to be either... Well, it's not going to be Archon. In this build, it's probably going to be in the Necromancer tree, I would well imagine, unless you want to buff up any of my existing Elementalist ones as well. But there you go, folks. Hopefully that'll happen in the future. And, of course, next week we're going to head on back out to Iron Pine Peak and hit up on those constructs that we've seen in so many of our previous episodes. But in the meantime, we need to get out of here on behalf of myself, Sambo, Tallahassee of the Storm, and good old Seraphis here. So I'm saying take care. I hope you guys are having a great week wherever you are in the world. We do look forward to seeing you next time. We will see you then and bye-bye.